Hey guys, so this week I will be doing 30 week 37 update and there's actually a lot that happened this week and for starters I had to take off my wedding ring because nothing fits anymore and this ring is humongous which I normally put on my middle finger and it's normally always letting off my middle finger and now I'm using it there because I just feel so naked without my wedding ring and wedding band so my hands are huge and nothing fits and it's terrible but um I mean I, I really thought about this and I and even when I wasn't pregnant I felt like my wedding rings were too tight to begin with and I even got them sized and they still fit a little bit too tight so I'm I don't know I'm just I I'm thinking if they were the normal size to begin with then I would have been able to wear it throughout my pregnancy but week 37 the ring has come off so it's really sad because I just feel so naked without it and I don't know it's it's I never take off my wedding ring not to shower not to clean not to cook not to go to sleep never so you can imagine how naked I felt and now I mean at least I have something there so it's not as bad but um you can come off but it's it's definitely been a hard week. I think this week I am super tired. Oh, actually, you guys haven't seen Pinky after her delivery. So here's Pinky. Say hi, Pinky. Oh, there. It's the camera. Hi. <laughs> and she's skinny again. Even though her, her nipples are still, like, drying. Because since she never got to breastfeed, she still had breast... Uh, milk in there but now she's doing good there was a time where she was kind of always attached to me and I couldn't even go to the restroom without her just needing to be carried and, and I'm guessing it's because of everything she went through but now she's completely back to normal so everything's great so this week I have been exhausted I have literally never felt this tired in my life and obviously um, I know that it's normal to be tired, especially towards the end, but I'm exhausted. And I think it's so funny how week 35, 36, I was kind of fine. I was never really tired at all throughout my pregnancy. And this week, I'm just exhausted. I don't even want to go to work because I just want to lay in bed all day because I'm so tired. And, um, and the last doctor appointment I went to, which was this Tuesday, um, the doctor, you can come up to him. Come on, up, up. The doctor um, mentioned that I had to be on bed rest because I was so swollen that that uh, I had to stay in bed. And he actually said not to put my feet up, that that's what everybody says. But he, he said that it's better to just lay down on either side and then just switch on and off because I'm swollen mostly because my where the baby's positioned so if I just sit on my right or lay on my right for a while and then lay on my left for another while and then just interchange between them both I have like a hair um that the swelling should go down if not completely much champ is sorry if the camera's moving all along come over here over here because he's on the couch okay so um, so I've been trying to lay as much as I can and my feet just seem to not stop growing and they're humongous right now. I really, this is bothering me. Got it. <laughs> um, so I, he wanted me to be on bed rest and I told him that Friday would be my last day of work and today is Friday and he was like, okay, but as soon as you leave work every day, just go straight home and just lay down and rest. So your swelling could go down because if the swelling increases, it does increase your blood pressure and that can induce labor. So nobody obviously wants labor to be induced and nobody wants my pressure to go up. So we're trying to lay as much as possible. Um, so that's about it. Besides being tired, really tired. And the same kind of symptoms, the swelling and 
just an uncomfortable pelvic area pain or sore um everything else is pretty good however yesterday while i was at work um i went to pick up some food with a co-worker and i drove and she got off she got off to pick it up and she was when she was getting back in i kind of felt like period cramps which felt really weird because since i haven't had my period for nine months i i right away you recognize the same cramping but i was kind of like whoa i haven't felt this for a very long time and my best friend called me exactly at that point and she's like hey how are you how's everything and i'm like i kind of feel cramping but it's it wasn't like contractions or i didn't think they were contractions because it wasn't a pain that came and then was there for you know 30 seconds or whatever the time frame and then it would just go away and then it would come back it was kind of like i was about to get my period and i was just constant cramping for probably about an hour and my friend Google did and she's like a lot of people are saying that they felt kind of period cramps and those were actually contractions and they went into labor within two hours. So she kind of scared me and I called my doctor just in case just to make sure what it was and she the doctor wasn't there but the nurse who has been seeing me throughout my pregnancy said that yeah those are contractions and to head to the hospital that my doctor would be heading to the hospital to check me and if anything he'll just release me but it's better to be sure than, than to have me go into labor um um while i'm at work so i left work early and it was my christmas party at work at from five to nine so i missed that but i left work around 2 p.m and I went straight to the hospital, I called my husband, he met me at the hospital, and um, I, as soon as I got there, they we registered very quickly, it was probably about five minutes, and then I went into kind of like the emergency room, but only for maternity, and they just put a bunch of monitors on my belly and were trying to see if I was having contractions or if it was just cramping or, you know, just monitoring my stomach and I was having contractions they were four minutes apart and the nurse kept coming in and she's like do you not feel that and I'm like I feel it but it's not painful it's not what I thought contractions would feel like I thought when I got a contraction I would know it's a contraction and I would be like ah and then it would go away and then come back and I would know it would just be something that I I would feel and know so she kept leaving and then even from her desk she's like you're having one now do you feel that and i'm guessing your stomach gets tight and hard for a little bit and the cramping does increase a little bit but it wasn't pain pain but it was probably because i was at the beginning of the uh the contractions and and she said it would get worse as i labored so she came back in, she called my doctor and explained that my contractions were four minutes apart and what I want, what he wanted to do. So he admitted me to the hospital and she came back in, gave me a gown, told me that in 20 minutes we'd go to the uh, operating room and have my baby in 40 minutes. And I was like, whoa, no. <laughs> I, was, I mean, even though I was kind of excited that it was gonna happen so quickly, at the same time, I didn't have my camera charged. I hadn't even told my mom or my dad or any any family anybody at all that i was on my way to the hospital because i kind of in the back of my mind as i was getting to the hospital it was this is just to check it's not serious it's not gonna happen and and then and i didn't want to worry anybody so when we got to the hospital and they told me right away i would be having the baby i was kind of like in shock and nervous that it was happening so quickly and so they were kind of, they brought the wheelchair to wheel me over and, uh, champ, come here. No barking, please. Shh. Shh. To wheel me over to the operating room and they put the IV on me. They did everything. And then another nurse came in and she's like, when was the last time you ate? Come here. I don't want you barking. Okay. She came over and she's like, when was the last time you ate? And I was like, well, I was just eating lunch probably around 12. 
and so she's like oh well you're gonna have to wait eight hours after you eat so it's gonna be delayed a little bit by a couple hours so you'll probably be having the baby around 8 p.m at this point it was around 4 p.m so i was like okay that's good it gives time for my husband to go get the charger in the car come back charge it for a little bit call everybody let them know what's going on so that kind of calmed me down a little bit more and so they took me to the kind of prep operating room where i would just wait until the four hours were up and then go into the operating room and as i was there another nurse came in and she's like okay change of plans you're going into the operating room in an hour um please sign all these paperwork and consent forms and all this stuff and uh she's gonna draw blood and and everything started happening quickly again my husband had actually gone to the car to get the charger so i had to call him again and i was like we're going we're doing this in an hour again and he's like why what happened and i'm like i don't know another nurse came in so come back and then the doctor comes in and he kind of checks everything my contractions had I, I was already i had already gone through like two bags of iv and the doctor said that my contractions were slowing down and they weren't as hard as they were downstairs so that he didn't really want to go through with it if the IV was kind of slowing down my contractions so that meant that I wasn't really in true labor so um, he told us that he was gonna do an ultrasound and run some tests and that if everything came back fine that I would be going home and that if later that night I felt worse or the next day or during the weekend that I would just go back and have the baby then but he wanted to keep her in there as long as possible so I mean I'm happy that it happened like that because now I know I mean I wasn't even I wasn't prepared I mean I had my diaper bag ready I had my hospital bag ready I had everything kind of ready but at the same time I wasn't mentally prepared for it to happen so soon and um and it was just shocking and my house was a mess so today i've been cleaning my house and um and that's the story so it was kind of a bum bummer just because it was like up and down and up and down and yes right now not not at all in eight hours and four hours and an hour right now not happening at all so that was my week 37 and um it was pretty it was pretty sad besides that i'm still exhausted we left the hospital and we actually went to have sushi at a, my favorite sushi restaurant my husband i think was trying to spoil me because i was kind of sad about <laughs> what was happening and and i was just so tired he was even like let's go eat sushi and then we'll go to the movies and and i was like i'm just exhausted so when we were eating sushi he was like looking up the movie times so he's like hurry the movie starts in like 10 minutes and i'm like I'm tired let's just go home and I love going to the movies he doesn't really like it so when he offers movies I take it <laughs> but I was just so tired I just wanted to lay down and I really didn't do anything I just left work at 2 and was in the hospital laying doing nothing really being poked blood and IVs and all this but I was exhausted and I still am I woke up today and I'm like I have to clean the house because if she comes today I have to do a bunch of things but I'm really tired and that's kind of the main symptom for week 37 and besides that I am going to do a nursery tour blah, 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 nursery tour but my husband still needs to build this last furniture piece that came in and once that's done then I'll film it and I also wanted to film my my hospital bag because I filmed the baby's hospital bag but I haven't filmed our or mostly my hospital bag so I am going to do those two things, hopefully, well, the nursery tour, whenever he builds that, he's going to build it tonight because now we know that the baby could come at any point. And I'm going to film the bag, the hospital bag, which is actually where my camera is laying right now. And I just wanted to show you guys a couple of things that I purchased. These are little shoes. They're newborn size and they're just the cutest little thing. They're kind of a khaki color, but with a little bit of glitter. I don't know if you could see it. There they are. And they have this little strap around here. And they're tiny. I mean, I'm sure she's not going to be able to wear them as soon as she's born. But they're definitely very, very small. And I really love them. And then I also found these. And these are for three to six months. And they're the little kind of like Uggs imitation. Not really Uggs, but... Um, and they're khaki 
and they're just so cute three to six months adorable so I got those two and then we also ordered I have been wanting to get Charlie bananas because I heard that they're really really good diapers and I had never just gone through and picked them up but I purchased these and these are just as you can see right there Charlie bananas the hot pink ones with the heart in the butt and I just love how cute that is and they are set to the smallest setting so I'm really excited because they seem really good um, so I want to try them out but I just wanted to get one because since I wasn't sure if I would like them or not I didn't want to get too many I also want to get rump maybe like two rumperoos but the, the right one size diapers because I bought two rumperoos with the little joys the newborn diapers and I absolutely love those so if they make those one size those would probably be my favorite because I love how they are and that's it so those three little things um, that I wanted to show you guys I actually purchased this not this week I purchased this probably a month ago but I just kept forgetting to show them to you guys and that's about it we are 10 days away from our scheduled c-section which is December 24th but I'm pretty sure she's gonna come before that so I'm just I want to have everything ready I have gone crazy today cleaning and doing laundry and having everything set and perfect because that was definitely a practice run that we had yesterday and now we know how everything's gonna go what rooms we're gonna be taken to how quickly things can change and how quickly things can happen so right now I can start having contractions and run to the hospital so I want to have everything perfectly ready which I kind of did but I mean there was a couple of things my my car didn't have gas and I kept saying I have to make sure that my car has at least half a tank of gas all the time and my car was on empty um the camera was in charged I didn't even have I'm talking about the video camera was in charge and we didn't even have the actual camera with us so now everything's charged I have the camera in the bag and everything's ready to go so that's about it and I'll see you guys in my next video bye guys okay guys so here's the belly I don't know if you can see it because I'm wearing black but here it is from the front and here it is from the side and here it is from the front again still no stretch marks whatsoever my belly button is definitely more popped out um, but that's kind of the only difference and there is from the side there it is from the other side And I definitely feel her lowered because for the past like two weeks I've kind of felt her even higher than usual but now she I definitely feel her lower so we're getting uh, close to the end I feel but I'm not desperate to take her out or anything like that I, I could stay pregnant for another five months I mean it doesn't I know a lot of people are like I want to be out this baby needs to come out but I'm pretty good I enjoy being pregnant and that's about it. Bye guys.